Hadi Danachea, hello. I am so excited to be welcoming you all back to another school year. I'd like to acknowledge School District 57 resides on the unceded ancestral lands of the Kalaitli Tanay and on the traditional territories of the McLeodic Indian Band and the Simp First Nations. Over the past few years, I've been asked why I always start by acknowledging the traditional territories of the First Peoples. Well, doing a land acknowledgement is an act of reconciliation that is stating a recognition of the territory of the Indigenous people who called this land home before settlers arrived. This simple statement of respect reminds us of our role as stewards of the environment and the land and our commitment to truth and reconciliation to create a system for a healthier future for Indigenous learners and a system that acknowledges Canada's true history. It is absolutely my pleasure to welcome everyone back for the 2022-23 school year. Last year at this time, I was speaking to you all, explaining the startup procedures in relation to health and safety and COVID protocols. What a joy it is to not be spending the bulk of my message on health and safety reminders. COVID, like all illnesses related to cold and flu, will remain a part of our lives. This school year, our protocols will include a continued emphasis on staying home when you are not feeling well, reminding our students and emphasizing proper hand washing and hygiene, emphasizing proper coughing and sneezing etiquette. And it's very important to remind everybody the wearing of masks is a personal choice and will be supported by the school district. We look forward to seeing more smiling faces next week. With that said, this year, the district will be focused on learning in our schools. More than ever, we recognize the important role we play in shaping the lives of humans. With the four directions of the strategic plan, truth and reconciliation, equity for access, wellness, and learning, you will see intentional and purposeful work in our schools towards increased literacy and numeracy results and an increase in graduation rates for all students. Many of our staff have been working over the summer, in particular this week, on professional learning that will support their practice in their schools. We also acknowledge the impact the pandemic has had on our learners. Plans to support students and families back to the new normal are underway, and I encourage you to reach out to your school if you have concerns. The wellness of your children is important to us, and we continue to build systems of support. On Monday, August 29th, the Minister of Education and Childcare, Jennifer Whiteside, announced increased funding to schools to help families with the cost of inflation and other increased costs associated to raising a family. This funding is welcome news as we know the start of school expenses can be stressful for so many. We are currently working on providing schools with procedures to assist you in accessing these supports through this one-time funding. We want to maintain confidentiality in the most discreet, respectful way we can. If you are feeling the pressures of startup expenses and need support with items such as school supplies, meals and snacks for lunches, or even some of the known additional fees associated with some courses, please reach out to your school principal or another trusted adult on the school staff. This year, we are welcoming a new transportation provider to School District 57. First student will be responsible for transporting students to and from school this year. With the new provider comes new buses and some new systems for us, parents, students, and staff to learn. We ask for your patience as we work towards implementing some of these new systems. It's wonderful our students are going to be coming to school on new buses this year. Once again, on behalf of the district, welcome back. Or if you're new to the district, welcome to School District 57. We are looking forward to working with the larger community to see all students prepared for their life's journey with skills, knowledge, options, and choices to be successful. See you all next week. Masi, thank you.